Hello, this is a presentation of our uh, air heater control system. Here we have the control signal in a chart. Here we have uh, the temperature values. The green one is the set point. The red one is the raw temperature out of the model. The blue one is the filtered temperature out of the model. And there's also the process uh, temperature which is now just a simulated duct device which is producing a sinusoidal wave uh, yes here we have a PNID overview of the control uh, system there's the temperature sensor with some added noise and that signal goes to the low pass filter which goes to the temperature controller which uh, regulates the heating elements. Here is the model parameters. Uh, the time delay and the time constant, the temp environmental temperature and the gain are uh, found using a brute force algorithm in MATLAB. The resulting values are implemented here. The noise is found by calculating the average temperature from the log file when the control signal was zero for that first time. We found the maximum and minimum temperature values of that time and added those as noise. The noise can be turned on and off. Next uh, we have the yeah next we have the controller. Uh, here you can set the maximum uh, output of the control signal. Here are the gains, also estimated using brute force algorithm in MATLAB. Here are the incremental control value and the last calculated control value and the error. Here are some controller properties. You can go from auto to manual. Plus, as you see, the control value stays the same as it was the last time it was in auto. Uh, then you can control the manual value. Then you can turn it back onto auto and you get a bubbles transfer back to trying to reach the set point. You can also change the action of the controller between reverse and direct. This system is a reverse acting system as the if you change increase the control signal temperature will increase. Um, if you for example had a direct system you could instead be instead of controlling a heating element you could control a fan. Uh, the more control signal the more the speed of the fan would increase and your system would be cooler so it would Act. You can see if we now set the set point a little further, it will decrease it instead of trying to control it against the set point. If this had been a direct acting system, it would now be trying to reach the set point instead of going away from it. We also have uh, implemented the anti wind up, as we see now the control signal is. The maximum value, the incre incremental term is zero. If we deactivate anti wind up, we see that the incremental term is calculating when the tries to go over five volts. When the controller is outputting five volts. Yeah. And then we have the filter. Here we have uh, the filter constant, which uh, a high filter constant means a more aggressive filter. So you can see now we set filter constant 2.5, we can decrease the set point value and get some change in the control signal and we see a really big phase shift here. Uh, the filter can also be turned on and off. If you turn it off, you see a very much uh, very big increase in the propagation of noise through to the control signal. Turn it uh, on again. 
that decreases. You can also turn uh, the noise in the model completely off, in which you get a perfect control signal. No noise. Yeah. Here you have the file uh, file header, which goes into the measurement file. Uh, here is the path, the measurement file, and the measurement file name. Here we can turn on and off uh, recording of data. Here is the time step for the entire system. Here is some chart control. You can also uh, choose to overwrite the measurement file or append to it. And here are some indicators. This is the process temperature. This is the model temperature. This is the set point, and that's it. Hello, this is part two of our uh, AV2 control system presentation. Uh, this is the block diagram. We have a flat sequence structure here. Uh, this means that this sequence run before this sequence so that um, when you first start the program the write to file setup will run which uh, opens or creates a new file at the specified file name which is uh, an input on the front panel you also have uh, some chart control of the temperature chart and the control chart. It takes a uh, time step into the X scale multiplier. It erases history for uh, each time you restart the uh, application. You set an X scale maximum from the front panel and you get uh, some uh, Y values from uh, model parameters uh, of the um, temperature chart and from the output range for the control signal chart. After this sequence is run, uh, this sequence runs, you first uh, activate the dock tasks, which is an analog output and an analog input. These are now set up as simulated dock devices. After th those tasks are activated, uh, you go into the main loop. Uh, this is responsible for writing the analog output to the dock, which is the control signal coming from the PI controller. This is reading from the analog input and sends the read-in sensor value to a scale scales from uh, 1 to 5 volts to 20 to 50 degrees Celsius which is then transferred to the low pass filter here is the PI uh, controller here you have the input uh, parameters which are uh, input from the front panel here are is the uh, bumpless transfer from automatic to manual. This is done by this local variable so that when you get an output of the PI regulator, it sent back to the control of that value. Here you also have a uh, manual indicator on the front panel. Then the control signal is sent here either to the dock output or the model. Oh, it's sent to both. The model has uh, a first call uh, variable, which is only true when the program first starts. This is to keep the output of the model the same as the initial temperature. It also takes the model parameters from the front panel and the time step. The signal is then sent to an indicator and to the temperature chart to, uh, so that we can view the raw value before filtering. 
and it goes to the filter it says the same uh, also has the first call uh, node in order for the initial filter value to not be zero it starts at the first output of the model it takes the filter constant and uh, some filter properties from the front panel as well as the outlier limits and the uh, time step that value is also sent to the temperature chart and to the write file note and it's fed back to the model uh, input choice here you can choose uh, between what the pi uh, controller should if the pi controller should control the uh, input from the model or from the real process as we see here this is the output of the process filter and this is the output of the model filter and this goes back to the pi controller uh, the write to file uh, so VI takes the file name from the front panel as well as a boolean if you want to record data or not it also takes in the elapsed time and the choice of overwriting the existing data or appending to it this is the model filter value it's going into the right file and this is the real process value that's filtered and this is the control signal value the, when the main loop is stopped from the stop button on front panel uh, the doc mx tasks close and that's how the program runs and that's it